What's up, YouTube fam? I've been off of YouTube for like forever. It feels like maybe two, three months. I decided to do a video, not on the G, not on my super fast Lexus hybrid, but on the only thing that's kind of uh, interesting on my channel. <laughs> As you can see, I parked in the middle of the street. So I wanted to do this video on throttle actuators and I'm by no means a mechanical engineer or a mechanic but I have owned this car for six years and my throttle actuators are still good. And uh, I have a theory and I've heard it from a few uh, reliable sources and it's kind of a mixture of common sense and uh, I guess just my passion for BMWs and my E92 M3 specifically. If you didn't know, throttle actuators um, and rod bearings both are two big ticket items and I'm, I'm assuming the only two big ticket items that really go wrong with this car. And uh, when I've put this car up for sale multiple times, people have asked me, have you done the throttle actuators? Have you done them? So let's get this straight. You do not do throttle actuators preventatively. You do rod bearings um, before they fail because if they fail, it's catastrophic engine failure. Throttle actuators, you can still actually drive the car um, in limp mode and there's a way to bypass that. And if my throttle actuators ever do go out, I'll show you guys how to do it. Really simple. Um, but what throttle actuators do is control your throttle um, I, I'm not gonna go into great detail because I'm not a reliable source but here are a few things uh, to protect your throttle actuators and your engine in general before though let me do a downshift Oof. First thing you honestly need to do with your BMW um, is to park it in the garage. Um, and this is my experience with German cars in general. The plastics suck, especially in the engine. And the throttle actuators, the main spindles that actually move around, are made out of plastic. So if you're parking your car outside, it's experiencing extreme weather conditions, hot, cold, hot, cold. You drive it, it gets hot, you park it, it gets really cold. If it's not in a controlled garage or environment, you can expect your throttle actuators to go out fairly early. Um, I do have 75,000 miles, so this is kind of around the time that those sorts of parts do start failing, but um, I've been parking this car primarily inside um, it do, it did go for you know a bit parked in a carport uh, when I had my F80 M3 but I religiously park it inside I do not park it outside and that's gonna help um, really protect the plastics in your engine and specifically um, your throttle actuators so I've done another video on how to warm up the car um, before I hit um, maximum engine temperature, um, I do not rev the car past three grand. But what I want to extend upon that in order to um, protect your throttle actuators is to switch gears in many variable uh, RPMs. So if you find yourself always shifting at three grand, always shifting at four grand, that specific area on the spindle is going to prematurely fail. So what I do recommend, um, not only do you not rev your car past three grand when warming it up, but variably um, attempt to change gears at different uh, RPMs. So let me demonstrate. Let's go down a few gears. So if you find yourself shifting always at three grand why don't you shift at 2500 or shift it at four grand um and you know that's my hypothesis um i think those are the two main things that could honestly protect your throttle actuators um 
shift at different RPMs and park your car inside. I think it's it's that simple to help protect them. Now, can you expect them to last forever? Uh, I don't think so. But I think you can definitely hold on to your OEM throttle actuators if you do uh, follow those two steps. Um, you know, for you BMW whizzes, um, engineers, mechanics, uh, individuals who have replaced them already, uh, please comment below. I'm always willing to learn. I am by no means a reputable source, um, but I still have my OEM uh, throttle actuators. I still have my OEM rod bearings. Um, and fingers crossed, uh, what I'm doing is really protecting the car. Um, yeah, and to be honest, uh, yeah, this, this channel does suck. <laughs> I am so sorry to anyone who watched like all of my videos. I'm sorry for the poor content. Um, honestly, uh, there's been a lot going on um, in my life and uh, with work, uh, with our pets, with my family, uh, that you know, YouTube has kind of taken a back burner uh, in my time. But I, I, I did just want to make this informative video just primarily for those interested in E92 M3 who have an E92 M3 uh, or E90X, uh, E9X platform car. Uh, these steps will definitely help you to protect your throttle actuators. And you know, parts alone, um, because there's two, um, is around like 1300 bucks. Um, and if you're in Great Britain or, uh, or actually in Europe in general, uh, the Euro, it's, it's almost a thousand euros. So it's very, very, very expensive to fix. Um, but I guess these two steps should help. And in typical fashion, traditional fashion,